cops. Central organization of police specialists. Fighting crime in a future time. Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. Central organization of police specialists fighting crime in a future time. Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. Seven six one. The crime was unusually daring, even for the big boss. A daylight robbery of Empire City's spectacular new blimp. Here's how the caper came down. The Mountbatten arrived in Empire City this morning. In a few short hours, the city's rich and famous will be arriving in droves for the fundraiser on board this luxury airship. I'll be there too, bringing you exclusive coverage. This is Whitney Morgan reporting live. <laughs> Empire City is rich and famous. Eh? All stuck on that blimp. What an opportunity. Now, let's go over the plan one more time. Right, Big Boss. We crash the party on the blimp, destroy the radio so they can't call for help. And we steal all the loot we can carry. And I zoom up in a copter and collect the gang and the loot. Not before I cut the blimp loose. The cops will be so busy trying to save the passengers, we'll slip right through their fingers. Good. But you forgot one thing. If you're going to crash that party, you're going to wear tuxedos. Officer! You forgot something! No tuxedos complete without a top hat. Uh, thanks. Ta-ta! Better hurry, or I'll be late for that fundraiser. Huh? Don't look 
down. Just don't look down. Just our luck. We rob a tuxedo shop while a cop is being fitted for a monkey suit. Come on, Mr. Go! Hardtop, we're going to be late for that charity dinner. He'll show up, sir. Hardtop had never missed a chance to meet his uh, dream girl. You mean Whitney, uh, Whitney... Morgan. Whitney Morgan. The best darn reporter in Empire City. And also the prettiest. I hear she goes for big, tough cops in uniform. Well, I guess that leaves me out. Let's go, sir. What makes you think I'm afraid of heights? Then how do you explain the look of fear in your eyes? Uh, uh well, I... This isn't official cop's business, Hardtop. Nobody's forcing you to come. That's okay. I can handle it. Sources. Look, Bulletproof, I need an angle on this shindig. I'm not here on official business. Our visit is strictly social. Well, if something comes up... You'll be the first to know. <sighs> she looks even prettier in person. What exactly are these things? What do I look like, lady? The galloping gourmet? Hmm. Hey! Huh? Maybe you didn't understand. The lady wants to know what you're serving. Me? I ain't serving nothing. I'm open for roll, see? For roll. I probably wouldn't have liked those little sandwiches anyway. Wait, I saw you with Bulletproof earlier. You must be one of the cops. Mind if I tag along? I think you might be onto a story. Well, I, uh, I guess I... 
Now, as you were saying... Whitney, sweetheart. Yes, Beamer? I've set up an interview with Nathan Kelly. The shipping tycoon? The very same. Well, lead on, Beamer. Gotta go, officer. We'll talk later. <sighs> Something's fishy around here, Chief, and it's not the caviar. Shh. Let's check it out. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> Thanks for the black <laughs> The Zergo. I guess we should have brought our guns, huh? <clears throat> Don't move, copper! Get your mitts up! Now, move up against the wall! got some memory, mister. What are we doing, him, Berserko? If I could just get my hands on you. Chill out, rubber legs. Here's the new game plan. Uh, uh, uh... Use Signal Turbo and just the ship's radio. Ah, uh, good. Meanwhile, I'll cut the flip loose while the boys rob the passengers. Great! Let's do it! Uh, don't forget to make me a doggy bag. I like those little sandwiches. Doggy bag! Right! Now get out there! I'm so sorry, Bo Bulletproof, but my fingers are starting to freeze. There. I've almost got it. That does it. This is all my fault. I should have figured why those thugs were stealing tuxedos. Don't worry about it. I've got a plan. 1033. Repeat. 1033. Emergency. Emergency. Officers in trouble. Request backup. Robbery in progress. Bulletproof's in trouble. Let's go. It's crime fighting time! A simple tumbler setup. A charge about here should be sufficient. This M98 moves approximately. Do it before my ears freeze off. Uh, sir? Not a blip loose before. I kind of like it. One line down, three to go. 1027, approach with extreme caution. Repeat, approach with extreme caution. On our way up, sir. What gives? Suspect on board plans to cut the Zeppelin loose. If the blimp breaks free, we'll never get on board. Listen, Hardtop, I'll go up and stop Crusher before he cuts the ship loose. When that platform comes around with Longarm and the others, lock it into place. I won't let you down, sir. That goes without saying. Excuse me, Whitney Morgan, Empire City News. Can't you see I'm busy, lady? Oh, don't let me interrupt. But I was curious. You've looted the passengers of all their valuables. Why steal those tiny sandwiches? It's a doggy bag for Crusher.
It's all over, Crusher. But I got a flip to cut loose. Cuts! I better get the loot before things heat up down there. Poopers, but our ride just showed up. All right, let's split. I hope you don't think I'm a pest, but how about an exclusive interview? One more crack out of you, lady, and I'll give you an exclusive knuckle sandwich. And how about some stock footage for the 11 o'clock news? Beamer! Look what you've done to Beamer. It'll take weeks to put him back together again. Keep it up, lady. You'll join him. Got to, to stop him. Berserko, you're under arrest. Let me go, you big goose. You should have stayed in the icebox. me. Hi, Top. Get ready. I can't! Snap out of it, kid! Long arm, I can't! The game's over, Berserko. That's what you think, Flatfoot. Geronimo! Ah! You got the loot! Before you go, a quick interview for the 6 o'clock news? It's been fun, and you can quote me on it. What? Don't worry, 
sorry. I won't let you fall. I think I finally found my story. <laughs> sorry to spoil the moment, kid. What do you know? They left the loot. <laughs> well, I assume you pulled the heist off without a hitch. How much loot did you get? Let me see. Huh? What? I hope it's not a problem. Sandwiches? Uh, uh, well, big boss, we did have a little problem with the loot. But how do you feel about sandwiches? Ah, Excuse me, Hardtop. I, I just wanted to say. We've got to hook up with the studio. They want you to go on live. I, I think what you did was. Got the chit chat. Fifty million people are waiting. Next time, lady. So, what's this about you being afraid of heights? Not anymore. Anybody can conquer their fears. Tonight, Empire City was served by its elite law enforcement team, Cops, who proved once again that crime does not pay. And this reporter must give a special thanks to one member of Cops. This one's for you, Hardtop. Rock Crusher and the remaining crooks were sentenced to jail. The jewels were returned to their rightful owners, and the Zeppelin was remoored above Empire City, thus ending the case of the stuck-up limp. Case closed. Hey, you made it to the end of the episode. That's awesome. If you like our videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in a position to help out the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check out our Facebook page where you can keep up to date with us. And go ahead and watch another episode of your favorite nostalgic cartoons right here at the Cartoon Vault.